National Police Week is where we get a chance as a law enforcement community throughout the country to memorialize those officers that have fallen in the line of duty. In 2020 alone, we lost 362 law enforcement officers in this country. Sadly, 234 of those were COVID-related deaths that are directly tied to their jobs as first responders. This year already, we have lost 124 police officers. Of those, 64 are COVID-related. So it's important that we say that because COVID, uh, although has, has impacted the nation, and we've lost many folks, it has also impacted our police officers, our men and women that serve. It's crucial to me to communicate to our community the importance for them to support those that protect them day and night. Here in Palm Bay, we uh, have a great support from our community. And it's important that they continue to showcase that support because in essence, it keeps us doing what we do in, in serving you. It's also important that I now speak to our staff because they serve us every day with great pride and honor. And I'm so proud and grateful for their service and how they protect this community. This past year, we've seen a lot. Aside from the pandemic, we've had to deal with calls for police reform throughout the country. We've seen, uh, unfortunately, riots that have happened, uh, but none of that has happened here. We maximize our processes, our policies, our folks represent us well. So it's important for us to stop once in a while and look at our staff and go, listen, the reason why we're successful in our community is in large part because of you. So I want to urge you to keep up what you do every day and how you serve. Be leaders in your community. And by the virtue of wearing this uniform, it gives you that platform for you to lead the way moving forward to ensure that our community is the safest. And I'm proud of you and I'm proud of your service. God bless you and continue to be safe. Thank you.